Hi, it's John. It's the 22nd of November 2015 and I'm down the allotment and as you can see we've had the hedges cut with a flail hedge cutter. Necessary evil, he's done a good job and we've got sun for the first time well we had some, some sun yesterday but it's the first time in about two weeks that we've had any sun um, and I've got uh, a battery connected to the solar power now so I can generate I can save five kilowatts of five kilowatt hours of electricity in the battery and it's all working now for the first time since it was installed which was installed about June um, so I'm very keen to get some sun to see how it's working, you know. Um, and now we've got some. So today I should be getting some battery charge. And, but I've also got hot water heating from the solar panels. So the hot water takes priority from the... Um, over the battery so it will heat the hot water first unless I've got the hot water I can turn it off and last night we've had the first real frost and look there's the dahlia yams oh yes we have had a frost the dahlia yams are black and the ochre look at that it's flattened it I didn't think it might not get frost down here you know it's frost sort of comes in pockets you get it in some places and not in others. That has flattened that. And there were some potatoes here. And they knocked them out. So, it's a month later than normal. And it's quite a relief, really. You know, you, you, you sort of want the seasons to be correct. The, um, see those things sticking up? They're the uh, caper spurge, the mole plants. I planted them around the edge to, to sort of stop moles coming on the plot. And they're stuck up. Um, they've survived the frost. And of course they will survive the frost. They'll survive the frost all winter. Hopefully, and then next year they'll have their little capers, the seeds, and they'll spring off and plant lots of more all over the place. I don't think they're real capers so please don't try eating them at home. <laughs> if you, um, oh here's some down here. If you uh, marigolds left. Um, these marigolds, if you put them in the chicken feed if I put them in with the rice, apparently the flowers make the eggs go, the yolks go a nice dark colour in the egg. So I uh, need to do that. There's the bobtail cat. He's quite a, a catcher of rabbits and I think the cats keep the rabbits away from the allotment which is good. I mean, obviously I don't like cats catching birds, but ra mice, rats, weasels, um, ra rats, did I say rats? Rabbits, <laughs> I don't mind them catching those. Now that's on full zoom now. That's 42 times zoom digital with the stabiliser on. Oh, and a goat's just walked across the picture. That was quite funny. Um, now, these little cameras, they go up to 75 digital zoom. So, I think I'm gonna have to get one just to see what they're like. He's got that whole field to himself and the cat. But he's not satisfied. He's got to go climb in the climb in the hedge and try and find what's the other side of the electric fence. That's a goat for you. 
there's some ice, ice on that uh, puddle in the polythene sheet. I think it's been colder down here than it has up up on the hill where we are. I don't think we've had much ice up, up. I live about a mile away. Look at those nasturtiums. It's just sort of felled them, isn't it? The frost. And also my mashua. No, not the mashua. The yakon. Look at the yakon. That's gone black. I keep looking around for sort of composed views. Um, but don't seem to be able to see many. And I'm not sure whether I can't, just can't see them or whether they're not there. I think possibly it's because they're not there. I've extended my pallet greenhouse this year. I've got that bit on the outside, which is giving a little bit of protection for the, for the, um, for the Akon up to this point. And it's done very well. I've had to anchor the fruit cage down again. They've, they've, well, I'm using it as a, a brassica cage and it's blown because it's blown away again and um, it's had some breakage up here <laughs> um, in various places and I've got some posts in and uh, guy rope on it. The brassica's doing quite well. These, these are um, purple sprouting and we've had some purple sprouting. Here's some of that caper spurge uh, with some capers on, look, with the, with the seeds on, look. Um, looking at the wrong thing, probably. Oh, there they are. There, it's a sort of biannual plant. After it's seeded, it dies. Got some mashua down here growing all over my fruit cage at the bottom. It's not quite so vulnerable to frost as the ochre, and it's just flowering. We're going to have another hard frost tonight, and then I think we're going to have it warm. So I'm hoping that this will survive the frost tonight and um, it'll continue to flourish. It's got some nice flowers on. This is mashua, and then uh, it, it has some um, edible tubers. Lovely flowers as well. Look at those. It's pulling my um, my brassica cage down, but I don't mind. I can I can repair it. There's a chicken chicken run down the bottom here. I'm going to put some chickens in there and then over there um, got some brussels sprouts there look, they look all right don't they those brussels there's a pumpkin Helen plant well I Helen planted it a bit I think I've done some um, was it Turk's head isn't it yeah, better take that in oh see there's the uh, Turk's head Squash it is really squash the squash. Well there's the Turk's head squash. Brought it back to the car. And uh, that concludes the video. And I bet better get back to do some work now. <laughs> right, bye for now.